Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are once again going to be playing Satisfactory today. A few announcements ahead of that though, kicking off Friday with a new podcast or a new podcast episode. I was uh, privileged enough to hang out with uh, Skizzleman and Impulse SV on their podcast Imp and Skiz uh, last Saturday and that show has now been edited and put out. It was an interview with myself and my co-host Johnny Pixel Riffs on the Sponge Chunks podcast. And we talked a lot about podcasting, a lot about content creation, and also had some good chuckles about Minecraft and different things about life as self-employed people and all that kind of stuff. I think you will really enjoy it. It's at the Imp and Skiz podcast on your favorite podcast app, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. It's also on their YouTube channel, and I'll show you a link here in, in just a second. First, I want to give a shout out to MindTrip Media with 100 bits to kick off the stream. Really appreciate the work and the lurk, MindTrip Media. Good to see you. Cosmic Dancer, Blast Jordan, super fast. We've got uh, I think Sweet Sandy is kicking around somewhere, probably chasing a puppy. Sandy has a new puppy, for anybody that didn't know. That happened yesterday. Apparently, mouse cords were, were at risk and otherwise uh, called Sandy's attention. Um, I will let people know that I'm still messing with some of the camera settings. I noticed in the last couple of streams that my camera, which is a Sony ZV-E10, was shifting autofocus a lot. Uh, it will focus on me, but it seems to like lose me and then catch me again. And the consensus online with a little bit of research is that the background was maybe a little bit too light and the camera was kind of bouncing back and forth with this particular lens because of the depth of field. So I've turned down one of the lights in the background. I'm still having the issue. So I turned down the autofocus sensitivity. It's supposed to be more of like a, a talking head setting. We'll see if that works. Uh, so far in my test, it started to work and then it stopped working again and it was still doing the focus pull. Uh, I know what happens when I switch scenes. So like when I switch over to the game here, it'll, it'll switch and the autofocus might pull a little bit. Uh, it's more distracting on the big camera here on this screen than it is on the small uh, face cam when we're actually streaming the game, but I'm still working on it. Uh, if you have any tips, if you are someone that works in video or you just happen to know this stuff from being uh, a hobbyist, I am new to video. So if you know anything about the Sony ZV-E10 or Sony's autofocus settings and you wanna drop me a line in the Discord, uh, the town hall is a great place to do that. Uh, or you can just send me an email, uh, joelduggan.com is the easiest way to catch all that information. You can also send me a, a DM on Twitter or something like that. Uh, but Discord is probably the better place because uh, it's a lot easier if you're in the Discord to just kind of have that discourse back and forth, right? Uh, but I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for your patience. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve as we get things rolling with video here on the channel. Um, speaking of new things, there are stickers. So if you want to check out the stream stickers, it's a great way to support your favorite streamers. A lot of people are using them now. Uh, I've unlocked uh, a number of the 500 default stickers. Uh, I do need to add some more. I also want to do some of my own custom stickers with some custom ADA uh, quotes from uh, the game, but I'm having a hard time figuring out how to get audio, uh, we'll say, sequestered into like, I can put it on a sticker, no problem. But what I really want is for one of my mods to be able to use an audio cue for like a break reminder or uh, letting me know that I've got a, an image up on screen while I'm still playing the game. I do that sometimes. And... I just haven't quite figured out what extension will allow me to give certain privileges to moderators. I think I have to use a chat bot. I was hoping that Nightbot would work, but so far I haven't seen anything in Nightbot that would allow me to play a sound. So uh, we are still working on improving the stream. Uh, there will be some custom text-to-speech images, I think, and, and stickers coming up. And um, I also want to increase the size of my own emotes that people can use. Uh, they're just a little bit small right now. They're emote size graphics as opposed to sticker size graphics. So they're a little bit tiny when you see them on the screen if you use them as a sticker. Uh, anyway, let's flip over. And before, I guess I'll load into the game just to see if we're at nighttime. And then I'll bring up the Imp and Skiz show. I did a little bit of cleanup last night just because I was taking screenshots and stuff. So a little tidy um happened around it is nighttime well that's good because really what i want to do is bring up this so this is the imp and skiz podcast page so at imp and skiz with two z's podcast uh this is the um home page and of course the feature section you can see our interview is episode 114 right at the very top and i think 
I have Chrome audio enabled. We can watch a little bit of this just to kind of see what's up. Like the, the show is a big job and I don't think it would be quite as doable as it is if it wasn't for Johnny and I teaming up to do it together. Yeah, you mentioned uh, like the advantage of video. Skiz and I had the, the advantage of being in person. <laughs> I thought I was gonna bring up. <laughs> so that's about where we started with it. The video is chugging a little bit because of my computer. It's not, it's not um, it's like, rough like that in the actual video when you watch it on YouTube. Um, but uh, I'm excited. Uh, I've been a fan of Impulse for a while. I'm new to Schizzle Man. I've only started watching him recently. Um, but I really like their podcast. Uh, the two of them together talk about all kinds of stuff, not just like Minecraft and Hermitcraft stuff. They talk about content creation, self-employed life, all that kind of stuff. It's a really cool show. Uh, and they interview a lot of really interesting creators as well. Uh, if you go into their videos, you can see... They did a TwitchCon recap. They interviewed Iskal. Uh, this one is with uh, LD Shadow Lady. They also talked to, I think, yeah, Jimmy's on it. Uh, they had a while ago, um, there's Scott Major. They also had uh, Ren Dog. And I want to say, yeah, there's Jem. Jem and Ite was on as well. That was a really good interview. So all of these are available at, again, Imp and Skiz Podcast on. YouTube or on your favorite podcast app. We'll switch this over now. So we're still in the dark, but I can at least show you the adjustment that I made. I found my mistake. If you remember at the end of the last stream, I was wondering why my train tracks were like two meters higher than I thought they were going to be. What had happened was the blocks that I had laid out here were connected to the coal and you'll see in the distance here the coal stuff was two meters higher so this was two meters higher than this and so i had attached this platform to this grid instead of this grid so that's why it's been fixed now i i, I made a i mean, made a change jumbo sale gaming rated with a party of two thanks so much jumbo sale really appreciate it Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Jumbo Raid. What were you up to on stream today, Jumbo? Was it Lego? Gaming? What were you doing? I also have the appropriate mug today. Folks, my community, if you are not already following Jumbo Sale Gaming, there's a little heart in chat. You can click that now. Doing satisfactory as well. Sucked in. Ah, I see. I see you have been affected. You are one of the victims of this very time-consuming game. I I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Crimson Crafter TTV, welcome in. Good to see you. Uh, but thanks again for the raid, Jumbo. Uh, folks in my chat, uh, if you are not already familiar with Jumbo Cell Gaming, they are a member of this community and the Spawn Chunks community. And uh, you should follow them. See what's up. Good times ahead of you. So, uh, I need to... Make this look not like garbage. And I also want to think about what we're doing for resources. So inside, we are not yet collecting or making. So we need to do like a computer list. So AI limiters and circuit boards. What are AI limiters made of? Quick wire and copper. Okay. What are they used in the construction of? Sometimes it's good when you start the stream and it's nighttime because you can bring up the sheets and do all the number crunching before you, the day the sun comes up. So we could try to get the alternative recipe for that. That would be a lot easier. They are used in much later production, it looks like. Programmable splitter and smart splitter. Okay, so we do need to definitely have those automated. Okay, that's fine. Not in great numbers. I feel like we just need basics. So like three to four a minute, something like that. Circuit boards, I think, are just plastic. And 
copper sheets or plastic and quick wire. Don't think we have those as alternate recipes. I don't think I want to use quartz in the quick wire. Quartz is too far away. Crimson Crafter has to raid and run. No worries. Take a break. 3 a.m. My goodness. Get some rest. Jumbo Sale, thanks again. I know you have to raid and run as, as well. Really appreciate it. Cheers. Uh, yeah. So we're probably going to use the standard recipe just because copper is a lot closer than plastic. So it feels like we have to bring plastic closer to us or take copper closer to plastic. It looks like the circuit boards are heavy on plastic. And what happens with sheets? Is sheets less? Yeah, so we could do, we would make the sheets and move the sheets to the plastic, probably. But then, 100 per minute. So we need to, the AI limiters need to be made near the quick wire, I would say. The, the AI limiter, maybe we'll split the difference and we'll bring the plastic and stuff to that as well. And then, what do we need for computers? Circuit boards, plastic, and cable. Also, copper. It might be worth it just to bring the copper straight over to the other facility. Okay. So while we're waiting for this, we can at least get some stuff going. What do I have for... I've got 59 computers. I've got a bing I've got a truck full of plastic outside. That's good. Top up the gas while we're here. I might have to actually collect some more of that. Finnish Kiwi! Hello, hello. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. So let's check. Ma'am. Don't think. Was it the ma'am? Yeah, hard drives. That's what I wanted to look at. Thought we had some circuit board related stuff. No, so we should probably look for a hard drive. We've already expanded fuel. Mm. Hard drives. Mercer's fields, fears, plastic tuck, truck fill up. We did that. Uh, did not mark paths for rails. Not looking to compact to coal. So. Train to plastic, I think. Train to oil resources. Don't think I have any tickets in here. What are they called? Coupons? Fix a coupon. No, I've got zero. So just the one. I don't think there's anything even for one available. We should pick a target though. Probably. Probably the steel wall. We've got all the foundations, that's good. Or the windows. Yep.
So we're looking at five or six tickets. It will be a while. You've been watching Jumbo Sale play Satisfactory, but you haven't touched it yourself, Kiwi. We are in a new playthrough. And so far we've got a fair amount of stuff automated. This is missing circuit boards. So we got lots of heavy modular frames. Circuit boards are light. What's this doing again? Oh, this is out of rubber. Oh, we need to do like a rubber a rubber run, I think. Yeah. All right, well, let's not let that stall on rubber. That will keep on trucking in the background. 2.5 per minute. We are, we need 500 and we had a couple hundred anyway. Well, almost. So we're not quite halfway there. Okay, so we'll get a new truck and we'll get some rubber. And I should also think about where that train line is going to go. Do you have any space? You probably don't. No. Okay. And while I like the black, I think we should probably do black and yellow. I like the yellow trim. Watch eight. So I'll copy this. Put that here. And then we'll just go straight black. Make it shiny. Why not? Not that there's a lot of yellow on them. Decent. It might actually be better to go with like a gray. That's a little bit more contrasty. All right, you're going to need some fuel. And we'll go get some rubber and we'll think about trains and where we want to build like a Caterium plant. And I should probably have my scanner on me. Everything is better pink. All right, let's see if we can get a jump out of this guy. Not bad. So that is one way we could go. I should actually go this way. I wanted to see... There's the Caterium, that blue tower over there. That's the Caterium. I feel like there's a decent amount of iron near there if we needed to use it for wire. I'm also hearing something over this way. I think there's a Mercer Sphere up on the ridge. Yeah. We'll grab that. Cosmic Dancer gifted a tier 1 sub to Finnish Kiwi. Thank you so much, Cosmic. That's amazing. Really appreciate that. Finnish Kiwi, if you haven't already, you can connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts. And now you can join us in the Joel Duggan Discord. Oh, I wanted gas before I go anywhere. Reverse in the trucks is slow. Very slow. There's a bump there. We have some extra. Oh, good. I 
and Cosmic Dancer also gifted a tier one sub to Jumbo Cell Gaming. Couldn't leave it at 99. Do I have 100 subs now? That's amazing. Thank you so much, Cosmic. Jumbo Cell, I know that you're not here anymore. Uh, and I believe you're already in the Discord. But again, for folks that are out there, if you've got a Prime sub, uh, Amazon gives you the Prime sub. If you have Amazon Prime, you can use it on your favorite creators. And it will be uh, another way that you can get into the Discord. On my end, anyway. And uh, you can also do it on Patreon. So if you have a, a way that you prefer, I very much appreciate it. And uh, all roads lead to the same Discord. Oh, that is a dead end. That's a hard drive I think I already got. Where am I? Yep. I always get turned around up here. That's why I prefer to go the other way usually. This is why we need train tracks, because driving through the woods is not easy. This will be the rubber truck. As you can see from my driving skills, this is why I don't usually program truck routes. Unless I've got roads in place. They're great if you've got roads. If you've got flat surfaces, solid. Really good way to move stuff around. Trucks can carry a lot. They can carry almost as much as a train. They don't go as fast, but... That little spitter owes me his life. Did you realize that there was nodes up there? I, I was watching somebody else's playthrough recently and I didn't realize that there's nodes up on that little kind of island peninsula thing. I feel like we've got all the hard drives that are nearby here. I know we got that one. Uh, do I drive in real life better than in game? Yes. I'm a very cautious, chill driver in real life. I don't actually own a car. I, um, I just borrow one whenever I've needed one uh, or rent one. Working from home for 10 plus years and just it never seemed to be a thing that I needed to to tackle. Uh, that is rubber. They might be able to hold more than a train, you know? Now I think about it. Now, uh... Is there a way I could zip line up there easily and maybe get a couple more hard drives or something? Let's do that. I don't think there's anything else I need to do while I'm out here. We've got plenty of power for now. So I'll keep this a short trip. And I guess in defense of my in-game driving, this is not a driving game. I'm much better in something like Forza. For sure. So what we could do to get around a little bit easier up to there is use our zip line. If you would let me place you somewhere, which it does not look like you're going to do. If I could sneak one in. Invalid aim location.
They really got stingy with where you can place stuff. Probably made it a little bit too easy to get around. It's not working. There we go. Punished prompts. Great progress for all. We've been working our way through phase four. Oh my gosh. You're way ahead of me. I've been stuck on making things look pretty. And trying to get higher. This is just... Oh, there we go. Or to maybe kind of? Nope. I can probably make it from up here. Biofuel for the win. You have absolutely no chill. <laughs> well, all the power to you. Something's up here. Slug. I don't think I can look for hard drives yet. No. That is a very large fuzzy tail hog. Summer soup around here somewhere. Probably down there somewhere. Really, what we're looking for is Mercer Spheres and hard drives. I forgot this little crack existed. I hear something. Wow. There's a nope cave if I've ever seen one. Mercer Spheres over this way somewhere. Probably up there. You can sort of hear it somewhere. Down here, maybe? Aha! Down in there. Would be my guess. I'm already up here, though. More concerned about hard drives. Can I see any of those from up here? That's a ledge that I don't want to fall off of. Purple slug. I think that's the sulfur. Nope. Caterium, I guess? Oh yeah, I did not know where I was. I don't know if we spent any time in the red biomes, but maybe we'll over that way. Limestone. Purple slug, some bauxite. We already have some bauxite back home. We can't do anything with aluminum at all yet. And you can hear the little critters skittering around. Uh, really love dimensional depots. It has been a ton of fun. Yes, I, I love them too. Punished props. Uh, we... Um, 
We've got a number of dimensional depots hooked up to our storage for all the essentials, concrete and plates and stuff. And we are trying to get more while we're out here. Symphony complete. You are not the Nod Effigy. Correct. The Nod Effigy is a temple? I do not think that is correct, even though I am not entirely certain of your definition of temple. The Nod Effigy is not you, but sings for you. The Nod Effigy is an entirely separate entity from me. We aren't even made of the same base components. It is a vessel of your intelligent clouds. Probably close enough for now. So I think I'm the effigy? I think that's what they're getting at? This is gonna be a very quick run. Where is it? Is it over the cliff? It's over here. That electrical magnetic control rod. Okay, we cannot get that one. I'll grab that though. Good sink points. We don't need any of these. Right now, I'm getting toasty. Okay, that's right on the edge. So we'll put a map marker there. Uh, drop pods. Well, that was too bad. I got excited for a second. I thought we had one. Don't know where the Mercer Sphere is this way. Survey says behind me. Oh, right there. On what looks like a rib cage. stuff good stuff bill do you guys play on uh, passive creatures or do you have like standard aggressive creatures what is the red part of the map it feels like i've never seen it before that is um it's not the red forest what do they call it on the other map it's the dark pink one whatever that is i can't read it it's, on, it's very small on my screen. Um, let me see here. It is red jungle pillars. So it's not the bamboo fields. It's the red jungle pillars is what it says on the map. I, I don't know. If that's still accurate, whether they've changed the biome since that map. The map is an old image. Another one here somewhere. Oh, there it is there. I've gone a lot farther afield and I've come back down from where I thought I was going to be, but partially successful run. And I know that there's another hard drive around here somewhere. I think it's right over there. Because this is where Devastator is in my other playthrough. This whole area is completely factory. Oh, look, another one. We're all geared up now. Now what I really need is the Sam Fluctuators. He doesn't have a shell. He's naked. Obviously, this is an early game location.
And I guess we should mark it. At least with the pre-selected colors, it doesn't take very long. How many Mercer Spheres does that give us now? I think we're up to five? Six. I want to say there's another hard drive up here somewhere. Oh, there it is, there. Oh, I got my window over my chat. Sorry, chat. Uh, your creatures are quite aggressive, so you're playing with the vanilla, vanilla creatures. I think I just, I still have that in my Devastator playthrough. I don't know if I've changed it, honestly. I think I might. I, I, I feel like I just, I prefer this way of doing it. I'm more focused on the building, you know? Um, I wanted the map. What I don't want is that ringing in my ear. Just copy that. The thing is, though, I feel kind of guilty when I go to kill the the monsters, um, the megafauna, for the capsules. Feel a little bad. Uh, do they still drop their stuff when you blow them up? I think they do. Scared the doggo. Where'd you go? Marked it, yes. As soon as it was a thing you could turn the, the retaliate mode on, I did it. Yeah. Let's blow things up for science. <laughs> Cosmic dancer. That was great. So good. That actually sounds a lot like claptrap. I wonder if they used an AI uh an AI voiceover for Claptrap. I thought it was an actor, but maybe they used AI in like another version. Not enough space. Oh, let's put those away. That away. Don't need that. Don't need that. Some of these away too. 19 of those. Wow. Also, cave. Might as well check it out. Seeing as it's not a giant big deal for us. Just a slug. Part of having the creatures on passive is like retraining your brain to uh, to be able to go in these places and not really care. They still look really cool. All right. 
Well, I think two hard drives. Uh, is there one more up there? That's a slug. I thought there was another one. Oh. I'll pick one more of those guys before I head off into the distance. There you are there. One thing, the jetpack really opens up Mercer Sphere. So. Avoid arms and avoid metals at desecrated temples follow a medicality. Oh, you understand. The tapestry unraveled revealed its texture. Your veins weave familiar patterns. Your vessels grow organs and eyes and mouths and a ripples lap against our windows. Was it intentional? All that is shallow shall sing our deep song, and when the windows break the void shall be a metal grave. I do find the extra intelligence beyond Ada weird. I don't find it so far revealed anything. Other than just being weird for weird sake. where I'm going. Next thing, next time I play is hard drive hunting. Yeah, it's um, I try not to do it too much on stream. Like I just try to do like two or three at a time. We had to come out here anyway. Oh, we had a gas. We had a gas. Wow, that shoots through some gas. I used 25 gas just to get here. Whoa. Big head face, Axonym. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Good to see y'all. Cosmic, thanks again for those uh, 200 bits and that hilarious stream sticker. That was really fun. Does anybody in chat know if there is a plugin or extension for Twitch that will allow me to play sounds, but also assign those sounds to commands rather than bits? There's another one that's very similar to Stream Stickers. It's called Stream Sounds, I think. And that's fine. Um, I'm not looking to do a lot of sound interruptions on, on stream. Stickers are one thing. Um, but... I was hoping to have something because I made a recording of Ada uh, saying that, um, attention, your viewers cannot see through the image that you still have up on screen. Uh, meaning that when I like have a spreadsheet up or I have an image of like a transformer up and I forget to take it down and I'm walking around and I'm playing the game and I'm talking about stuff and my chat's like, Joel, we can't see anything. Joel, <laughs> Joel, we can't see anything. Uh, a moderator could just use a command in chat or a VIP. Uh, and just let us know um, that, that it's happening. Um, right now, the closest thing we've got is using channel points to highlight a message, which I still have to see to the corner of my eye. But in Satisfactory, sometimes I get really pulled into what I'm doing. And I sometimes forget to look. Right, we had we had toppling problems here before with the speed of the truck. So we'll keep it on the low. Do I have ramps? I do. It's a pretty cool view. The fact that the trucks get air on such a little ramp is bizarre to me. Man, research is done. Excellent. 
Uh, do we have room for extra rubber? We do. Let's fill up the rubber first. So Punish Props, when you guys are working through your playthrough, are you just doing platforms or are you building like factories with walls and decorating stuff? Are you just brute forcing the game? Not, I shouldn't say brute forcing. Are you are you playing in a fairly straightforward way? That's the, the better way to say that. 37.5 per minute. I need 15 rubber per 2.5, no, per one module engine. So 15 to one. How many do we have left to do? We have 250 left to do. So 250 times 15 is 3750 that I just put in there. One, two, three, four, five. At least another, another thousand. Man, those trucks hold a lot. So probably another 2,000 maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Spend all the time making the paths and just jumps everywhere. Blade Runners for the win. Truck's half empty now. Makes you realize where you should probably have extra walkways. <laughs> like maybe I should have more than just one. I've often thought about that, like, should I have another one here? Although, maybe on the ends. Or I guess here would make the most sense, right? Does that line up with a half? I wonder if that would block your view. Ah, uh, not really. It would here. Here it would block your view. Maybe instead of one in the middle, I should have two sort of like in thirds or something. That might be a better way. Uh, everything just gets set up on platforms. Then every once in a while, we go back and put walls and pretty stuff. Oh, that's cool. So you kind of like go through the progress first. And if there's a place that you really like to build, then you go back and, and update it. That's cool. All right. So that's our modular engines, I think, going. I don't think we're shy on anything else in there. This needed... Smart plating were good. Motors, I feel like we had a lot. Yeah. And the motor ratio was two to one, so it only needs 500 motors. Yeah, we should be fine. Okay, so that's progression dealt with. The hard drive is ready. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Is that it? Or is it the first one? I think we've had this before. Steel cast plate and molded beam. Don't really care about either one of those. We'll scan another hard drive before we start re-rolling stuff though. Oh, I need to pull that down out of here. Man, Dimensional Depot changes life. Our last playthrough, we were a lot more patient about setting up aesthetics. Uh, we built our factory as a huge city in the desert. Oh, cool. Uh, the Dune Desert? That's a good place to do that. Normal day. Just need a casual 500 motors. Look, you know what? Um, those 500 motors have come from us making like four motors a minute. Like, I know it seems like very little, I don't know who you are. 
I don't know what you want. If you are looking for good mod skills, I can tell you I have none. But what I do have is the ability to tell the time. Stream time <laughs> is at an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Cosmic Dancer, I know that's you. Uh, thank you very much. 100 bits on a stream sticker, text to speech. Again, it it sort of sounds like Liam Neeson. It's the cadence that I'm impressed with. Really, really fun. Um, we are doing. I want to say four motors a minute. Yeah, that's it. That's at 80%, four motors a minute. And because we are just collecting them all and sinking the rest, we have this many motors. Like it's, you don't need to build like 200 a minute, right? You just need to set up something simple. And then if you're into the decorating, if you're into the exploring, then this stuff just happens in the, in the background and you can kill an hour in this game just thinking you don't even have to do anything so if you're walking around and planning stuff like you will absolutely get stuff done uh cosmic dancer again thank you very much uh is the sun going down i should maybe try to wait the extra couple of minutes yeah we'll wait until it gets dark and then i'll take a break uh, but thank you cosmic for the reminder appreciate it As soon as you introduce jump and flight, walking up ramps feels like r walking on dirt. Yeah. That's fair. It's it's the it's the flight. It's the combo of the the jetpack fuel. I wasn't so jumpy when I had the biofuel. The bio solid biofuel, the liquid biofuel is is good. Uh, oh, that reminds me. We only have that 100 on us. I should really go I should probably just try and get a little bit. So let's just scoot out to this Caterium plant. I feel like, do I have a tractor over here? No. Wood is probably the easiest way to get biofuel. We'll just collect some stuff on the way. So this Caterium is just making quick wire and sticking it in a bin. Uh, we can look around. We've got copper. It's impure, but I don't think we're going to need a lot. We've got copper right down here, which we could bring up here. Caterium right there. And then iron, if we built over top of this iron, we could pull the iron up. These are also impure. There's nothing fancy about them. But if we needed the iron, it would be here. So I feel like this ridge would be a really good location for like a computer and circuit board factory. I think that's impure down there too. And then there's limestone over there. And we could bring the train. I don't think I'm going to bring the train over it. I think once the train gets out to here... I'd want to turn the train to head along that way, kind of towards towards that ridge. So I'd probably turn the train along here, would be my guess. So let's just maybe, there's the hub. I feel like the train would probably turn somewhere around here. Um, I feel like we head out this way. That's the mine. I don't exactly know how, how far we're going to go. But you can kind of see like a straight line like right across there. 
I think that would be cool. I, I saw somebody else playing the other day. I, I agree with them. I wish you could copy the markers. Straight line. Or like... Yeah, and then once we get to here, they can start traveling up the coast. I think that way. That makes sense. Any more wood? I could also just chop something down. I feel like those are in the way. And maybe we'll get rid of these too. That way we won't have to think about fuel for a while. I'm trying to think about leaving some of the prettier, larger trees alone. Worth noting that I think your chainsaw switches back and forth from single to auto when you put it away in the dimensional depot. So if you wanted to keep it on single, just be careful in case you're getting a little bit crazy with the chainsaw and you realize you're cutting down a tree you didn't mean to. Leaves a nice path up this way. That should be enough to get us going. Can I get to work? Thanks so much for hanging out, Punish Props. Great to see you. Appreciate you coming by and saying hi. Uh, folks, if you haven't already, uh, go check out Punished Props on YouTube. Fantastic prop designer and prop maker and cosplayer. Amazing stuff. I can't believe the satisfactory suits that you guys made. So, so cool. Um, Cosmic, if, can we get a link and a shout out for Punished Props in chat? Please and thank you. Do you have a minute? Uh, wood and leaves. That was not as much as I thought we were going to get. I'm not entirely happy with the inside of this. Um, I like the concept here, but the lighting is not doing what I want it to. I feel like we have to change some floodlights and make some stuff. I also am debating whether it would be better just to use like a big sign, use like a big billboard sign, or two of them, I guess. So I'm thinking about that as well. I need more lights is essentially what's happening. One thing we can do, I don't really feel like it's going to be worth um, keeping some of this stuff. Like, I feel like some of the things we put in the quantum storage, like, I don't think that's going to be worth keeping. We should just sync that for points. Um, aluminum. Let's look for stuff. Turbo motor. Those are the big ones. There's the hard drive done. This is the other thing we need is those.
Quick wire stator. Woof. No. Copper alloy ingot. That's actually not terrible. We may actually take advantage of that. So I should probably not re-roll that. I will re-roll something else that's not great, though. Uh, the wet concrete is good. Yeah, the mouse wheel is not working very well here. Let's re-roll this one. Neither of those are good at all. Crap. We may need that for the copper factory. Because remember when I said that there's impure iron nodes around? So we might be able to combine those and get a little bit more. Although it's at the cost of power in the foundry. Do we care about quartz and coal? Neither of those resources are close together. I feel like we should probably just rescan this. That's an interesting idea. Still uses plastic though. All right, no luck on the hard drives for anything useful other than the the combination of ports and stuff. Uh, what do I need for these guys? Oh, I only need I only need ten. I thought I needed a hundred. Oh, that's good. Okay, we can put some dimensional depots down. Uh, we will do that when I get back from my break, though. See what I did there, Cosmic? I'm listening. Being a good human. Also, my coffee's broke. Folks, I take a break once an hour. It is about that time. You get to sit here and watch the skybox go by, and I get to refill the coffee. And I will be back in five or seven minutes. Like the, the sh
All right, let's see. I don't need that anymore, that's for sure. Oh, I didn't know you can click on this. That's cool. Put this away. Don't need you anymore. I think we're good. So while I was on the break, I was thinking about this setup here and how we're going to continue it. Put the quartz in there. And I think I'll put the motors and stuff directly into the awesome sink. There's no filter, so these are just going to go straight in to be filtered. And then... Where did I put my workbench? Do I even have one down here? But I did. Must be up here. I do not have one. So we'll use this. I don't think we need the slugs for anything. Was that pulling from the Dimensional Depot? I guess it must be. Yeah, I don't have anything in my inventory, so it's, must, it's pulling them from online, I guess. That's cool. Oh, I left my coffee cup in the other room. Crap. We can handcraft those too. That's good to know. Um, P1, hello, welcome in. Put the DNA capsule in as well. It's I need to have a separate bin, make a little bit closer to to the actual. Um, storage. Um, one of the things I was thinking of is like, can we get these a little bit closer? And if we can, does it matter? So if I get rid of some of these, just as a test. If I hook that in there, I can't nudge it because it's attached. But if I put a uh, foundation there, and I grab one of these, and I put that on top. I can actually nudge that closer. So that's connected, but it's not connected down here. We still have to do a belt. But because of the new snapping, it shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, so it, it it does work. It's a little finicky. So the question is like, does it matter that we're moving a meter tighter? Yeah, so do we think, does it matter that they're out that far? I kind of like that they're tighter. So I'd like to work out how we're going to handle this from a design perspective. Because you can't see the Dimensional Depot, unfortunately. It's so cool. It's such a cool looking building, but the way that I've designed it, you really can't see much of it. We could use a gate wall here, maybe. I guess we could use a gate wall all on the top. Oh, no, it's not going to work with the way that those go. So, how many are we missing? One, 
two, three, four, five, six. You can build six. everything down to there sorted see I wish we could see that I want to see that but we have to cover it up I guess the only other way to do it would be with some sort of belt but that we'd have to have a different system we'd have to have small bin going out here and then it going around. And that wouldn't be good. It'd be hard to access. So again, looks cool, but we like we have to cover it up. Uh yeah. Uh I'll, in a couple of minutes I'll have to quit my mug. I brought in the French press, but I forgot to bring my mug. You know, I think I do like I think I do like them in a little bit tighter. that one I don't know that this one worked either no do I have to do belts on both of them well maybe we don't have a choice Reinforced plates. Take those out. Don't remember putting those up. not stomping okay so it works it's just a little finicky Take a hot minute to fix it. Seems to be the the good thing seems to be to use the bin first. I'm not putting anything funny on the back of these, am I? No, okay, good.
rods. This is already full. I guess I should take things out. Yeah, okay. Typical human. Wanted the coffee. Made the coffee. Left the coffee. <laughs> well, well, well played, Cosmic. I will go get my coffee now. Thank you. Give me one second, folks. Thank you very much for the bits, Cosmic. I really appreciate that. And the chuckle <laughs> with with the TTS sticker with GLaDOS. That was very, very well played. Uh, General Diggler. I uh, did not know you could reposition lifts with a nudge to be closer like that. Great to know. Yeah, it's a little tricky. You can't actually attach it. You have to place it kind of like out here on the platform and then nudge it in. Uh, the top will connect if you listen for that little that little chirp. But then you have to connect the bottom with a belt. So it's a little on the tricky side. Uh, and I'm also self-conscious of it not working. So I'm taking stuff out of my dimensional depot just to make sure that it's uploading, which it is. I can always put stuff back in as we fill up here. So I'm just going to do this all the way down, I guess. Really handy if you're trying to make a tight design like a blueprint. I really wish we could do more with this purple. Maybe I'll try to replace it with a purple light or something. So like... This is what they look like right now. We have this wall that can go up. We don't have to do walls. I kind of wonder whether we could do some sort of recessed sign, maybe. There's a light up there we could use. So instead of just taking this like straight up, I was wondering if I could do like a, a beam. That'll go in between. Or it'll go to the left or the right. And then we could have maybe like a light in between somehow. That could be kind of cool.
I'm gonna make the rest of this stuff carbon steel too. It has the same sort of purple glow to it. It's not quite as nice, but we could do something like that. Maybe with one more. I think I might want to go with a larger sign too. That's a start. We'd also cover up the top. I was also thinking it would be neat if we could attach um, some of these somehow. But I don't know. That's not. It's pretty. It's pretty steep, right? I don't know if that's really. I don't know if I want something like that sticking out because I thought it would be cool to have lights shining down towards it, but I, I don't want to put lights like on the skylight. So I thought if we had something sticking out here but shining back down, it would be cool. I don't know where and how the street lamp thing would go. We might have to nudge those around. They're pretty big. I don't know, actually. We might be able to do that. All I'd need for convenience is just the tip of it sticking out for electrical. How far does that? Not quite. I don't really like the look of these anyway. I prefer signs, but I don't play with Luminon, so. Yeah, so that's sort of what I want, but not really. I don't want to be able to see that bulb. That's not exactly what I would want. It's almost like I want to put an angled light kind of like shining down through the frame. But anyway, we have a task ahead of us right now. That's not bad. It's a good start anyway. I think it might be easier to start at the other end. Oh, but then I'm not going to get those lined up. Maybe I should put one in the middle. Working. Confirmed. Oh, I didn't paint these, did I? Maybe we'll put one in here just so it can line up. That's what I want, that little line. Working. Bali, hello, hello. The purple globe makes you think of ender chests. I kind of wonder whether they designed that at Coffee Stains. I mean, I know the Mercer Sphere already had a purple globe, so they, that might have been what dictated it, but I feel like somebody at Coffee Stain plays Minecraft, right? Like, those have to be the inspiration 
Like, I feel like some of the devs on coffee at Coffee Studio on Satisfactory probably grew up playing Minecraft. Like, you'd have to be under a rock as a game developer to not have some time in Minecraft. Confirmed. Good, 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 good. This is going to save us so much time if we're out in the wild trying to build something and we just don't have anything in our inventory. Cable. This is already full. There we go. It makes a really interesting noise, too. Don't know if that's the right way to check that. There we go. Pipes were already up here, I'm sure. Uh oh. Oh, it's the autosave. That's getting a little bit longer now, too, I find. Something I also have to remember, I did just now, but it's changing whatever you're building to be the default color that you want it to be in the end saves you a lot of time painting stuff later. What is this going to be? I don't remember. Staters? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Cool. Oh, mind control. Thanks very much for the raid. Welcome in, everyone. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. In 1.0, staters are completely intermediate and not needed in inventory, right? Says my cabbages. Ooh. Uh, they're used for stuff. I feel like they're used for inventory things. What are they used for? I should know this. Thanks so much for the raid, Oh Mind Control. Um, folks, there should be a heart in chat if you want to go follow Oh Mind Control here on my channel uh, and go follow them on Twitch. That would be fantastic. What were you up to in stream today? Was it satisfactory by chance? I'm just going to look this up real quick. Uh, staters. Uh, they're used in automated wiring and... They're also used in, I want to say, some building parts. Yeah, they're used in motors, uh, turbo motors. 
So you're right. They, they probably don't mean, need to be in the Dimensional Depot. So you're not really making any buildings with them. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, it was only have like 24 hours in. So we're coming up on probably 15 hour, 1,500 hours or more. Not in this save, but in this playthrough. Uh, or in like in the game in general. Um, but thank you very much for sending over your viewers. I really appreciate it. Um, folks, if you're new to the channel, uh, coming in with that raid, my name is Joel Duggan. I stream and podcast full time. Uh, my main podcast is Spawn Chunks. It's all about Minecraft. And it is uh, a weekly show, news, editorial, conversation about Minecraft. And we also just recently guested on the Imp and Skiz podcast. Uh, and actually, I'll, I'll point you in that direction now. Uh, Johnny and I, my co-host on the Spawn Chunks, uh, went and uh, guested on the Imp and Skiz podcast. Uh, so if you go to Imp and Skiz podcast on YouTube, uh, subscribe to them. They do really cool conversations with other creators. Uh, and our episode is right here at the top, uh, talking with the Spawn Chunks podcast. That's us. Uh, that was episode 114. Um, and uh, it was a really good conversation. I really appreciated Imp and Skiz having us on. Uh, they've become sort of like online friends. Uh, we've had Impulse on the stream uh, on the um, the Pon Spawn Chunks podcast a couple of times. So it was a really, really cool afternoon. Uh, but that's my main gig is the podcasting thing. Uh, and then, of course, I also stream here on Twitch. Minecraft and Satisfactory. A lot of Satisfactory lately. We've been touching on Minecraft. I need to get back into the Citadel, but for now, we're focusing on, on Satisfactory. Lo says it was a great episode. You watched it while cooking. Well, thanks very much. We've had a lot of good feedback. We've had a lot of good feedback. Uh, we also... It's got... It was published three hours ago, and it's got almost five and a half thousand views. So that's cool. Uh, lots of people being directed to the Spun Chunks podcast, so that's great. Again, I really appreciate it, um, Imp and Skiz having us on. All right, we're almost done with this tedious placement nonsense. That's rotors. I don't think these were put up before. Rotors are definitely something you use a lot of. I feel like there's a there's a lot of things you make for rotors. I think it's like trains and stuff. I think that's the last one. I think I confirmed that that was working. I guess I could just take this all the way up to the top. And then delete most of it. Probably switch back to this. just feels kind of boring to be a big box. And Wheeljack doesn't necessarily have purple lights. Wheeljack has like some blue lights. So for people that just came in, we're basing this off of Wheeljack Transformer. Oh, that's the wrong image. Let's go with that one. Um... And he's got some blue highlights, like he's got some blue headlights, some blue, like, his eye light, his eyes are blue. Some blue, like, like, track lighting. Sort of like in his elbows and along his swords and stuff. I need to get his wings in there, too. I need to put those wings on the outside. I think I might put those around the uh, hub. That might be kind of fun. So maybe we go with a blue light instead it's almost like a turquoise The 
about right. I'll have to work on the color. Work on the color. Mostly looking at the car in the lower right hand corner. Unfortunately, my camera's over top of it. Can I hide that quickly? Yeah, so you can sort of see the highlight there on the headlight. Probably hard to see, um, but you can see on the image above me. Um, can you see my mouse in this page? No, you can't. But like on the side of his chest, there's like a blue highlight, and on his toe. So we're just trying to pull some of the colors from there. Well, I like I like this stuff. That's pretty cool. So we'll continue that. I feel like I think it's actually okay to stop them there. And maybe we can just do some sort of like shape up here. Maybe not that tall. Or... Oh, we have to maybe... Maybe we have to fake this with another... We won't do a dimensional depot here. Maybe we'll just do like a simple... Extra storage unit. I've used this shape a lot, this kind of like trapezoid -y. It's like a squished octagon. Hexagon. Octagon. Um, could have a dip in the middle. sort of shows more of the skylight than just a straight line. Although I think it's maybe too tall. Maybe we need to do the lower versions. More subtle. I like that. Love seeing people's crazy builds like this. It's insane what you can do in this game. It, it really is. It really is. Um, my other save with a thousand hours plus in it is Devastator, the Transformers combiner. I think I took down all the images. I might have a big one. Is that Devastator? Nope. Uh, Ironhide, Megatron. Yeah, I don't have any Devastator on my board right now, but um, it's a big green desert encompassing build. It's huge. The entirety of the Dune Desert, pretty much. But this is the what we've got going on and the inspiration for this is of course wheeljack and so we've got a little bit happening uh we're getting there it lacks detail it's got the form i feel like the form is good but it lacks lacks the detail what do we do with these guys one two three we're almost at 400 sweet 
The adaptive control units are the ones that are going to be nasty. Automated, yeah, we need automated wiring. That requires stators, right? Circuit boards. Woof. That's going to be tough. Uh, well, we can execute the beams, and then I'll just hold off on the lighting for now. Because the beams are pretty easy. Half meter nudging does great for depth. Oh, did I miss something? Thanks, Cosmic. Is it 11 meters? No. Yes, 11 meters. Okay. Malunko was wondering if you accidentally uh, dismantled one of the foundations in the roof when doing the walls there. I probably did. see a hole. I thought about that. I thought the number had it correct. I don't see a hole. Thanks for the heads up, though. Definitely something I would do. Not crazy about the lip that we have here, either. I wish that these were capable of being just a little bit higher. But again, it's a half meter that you can't raise those, really. I mean, we can, as like maybe a last ditch effort, using like a, um, a beam and a, and a, what are they called? Barrier. Jeez. Joel does words. So for folks that don't know, use that and a barrier. Your barrier will slide along this at any height, right? So if you put one of these back here. And you want to get half meter of height. You can sort of. Sort of eyeball it. It's about right. And then if you hold control. You can snap the foundation so it's not on the right center but that's pretty close to a half meter so I could do that and then once I get one of them in the corner then you could just build them all again and get rid of that little lip but I agree vertical nudging would be cool I understand why they don't have it it's it's difficult for with only four arrow keys how would you do vertical nudging maybe control nudge I guess Big head face, take care. Have a good afternoon. Really appreciate you being here. You look at, um, if you look at the uh, the vertical glass wall at the top right, looks like something missing. Vertical glass wall, top right. Hmm. I don't see anything.
Oh. That's not the top right. That's the top left. Thank you. My cabbages, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. I'm pretty sure that is an Avatar The Last Airbender reference. Good on you. What did you think of the live action show? Did I do anything on the end down here? I don't think I did. The other guy decided on how to handle that. I did not. Uh, I guess we'll just do the same thing. that go oh interesting maybe we won't do that Thing you almost want to make a blueprint for but of course we're not going to be here that long in terms of like this building we're not going to we're not going to repeat this setup in other places how does that look when there's a couple together well that looks pretty cool i like that The light really helps. We're definitely going to have to zone in on, zero in on that light. Does anybody know if there's like a, an online guide for like the right light, light settings for certain looks and satisfactory? I could load up my other playthrough. I feel like I have a couple of lights in that playthrough that's saved. Hopefully people don't get dizzy watching this. I'm trying not to go super fast. I know that can be a little bit jarring. I was watching one streamer the other day on a VOD and they were talking so fast and moving so fast I couldn't follow. I was just like, I just... It's the kind of gameplay like you might be fine on your own, but like as a viewer, I'm just not fast enough. The Gen X in me is just like, nope. We prefer chill. Oh good, it's behind the signs. Okay. So, I guess we'll do one here. Then we've got to figure out how we're going to handle the edge. Thank you, Cosmic. I appreciate that. Three o'clock. How does how does this happen? The time just flies. 
time just flies. We should be good. Yeah, the sun's going down. Well, we're getting there. I think I need to change the signs. I don't like the red signs. I want to change the background on the signs to something else. I don't know whether we're going to make them neutral. Maybe they need to be black. And just have the actual image. Or maybe they need to be more of a maroon to match what's happening here. It's a little bit better. Yeah, I'll have to figure that out. And do people think that that light is too bright or too white? Does it need to be more blue? Again, we're trying to go with the the headlights. I've got some ideas for up there too. You can see I sort of tried to do it up there with some blue lights. Not really working all that well. The um, the lights are too close. There's not enough t there's not enough space for the light to bounce around. I need I need to put floodlights in front of them. I think for it to really work. I need to get a good energizer energizer color. More blue for Wheeljack, like a Jedi lightsaber blue. So I think that's all that is. I think it's just like, I think it's there. I think it's just that I don't have Lumen on. Actually, as it gets dark. Well, if I go on my break now, it'll be dark when we come back and I'll switch on Lumen and we'll see what it looks like. So I'll stick to my, my breaks. The sun's going to go down here in just a second. Um, folks that just came in with that raid, I take a break once an hour. Gives me a chance to reheat my coffee, uh, grab a snack, grab a stretch. I'm also trying to uh, grow the stream. So if you wouldn't mind telling a friend, maybe, uh, at Joel Duggan on Twitter and Instagram. Very easy to find. Uh, and then share the stream around and bring in some friends. Uh, I will be back in just a few minutes.
All right, let's uh, let's switch on Lumen. Sitting here at this laser, this is going to be wild. Hopefully, this doesn't crash. Let's save the game first. Uh, Cybertron O thirty eight storage design. Options video. I guess it really didn't do much seeing it here. Definitely on. Very dark in here. And that light does very little. It is blue though. It's definitely blue. It doesn't I find that lumen doesn't go very far. So I think it's the right color. It might be a little on the green side. Not bad though. Can't believe I'm actually playing. Normally I get like four frames a second. Uh, let's try just a little bit more this way. That's definitely more blue. Doesn't look very blue. What if I turn down the intensity? Let's go with maybe 50. So still just as bright, but the panel looks a little bit more blue. Definitely cooler when it's brighter. I shouldn't say cooler, better looking dealing with color temperature here. Let's try that on those lights down below just to see. Let's copy this color. So dark it looks so nice in here but it's so dark see this is more of a turquoise that's very blue yeah definitely not neutral that's more of a neutral so I wouldn't want to use that for an actual like floor light, but a highlight I think the blue is okay. Yeah, the white really goes a lot farther than any of the colors do. Well, it's disappointing that it doesn't go as far. I wonder if it would be better if I had it farther out. At least it'll be easy to transfer. Yeah, maybe recessing it was a bad idea. 
right? Like, that's the effect I want. Maybe I have to put the lights on the outside, not the inside. Two lights is too busy, though. That's unfortunate. You're not going to see it until you walk by it. That's annoying. All right, well, let's get my frames back here. I find the hardest part with the lumen is the mouse gets really slow. Yeah, I guess we'll just go with the ones in the middle for now. that the signs make such a huge clunk when you're making them not a very big big piece of equipment now how do we hide that I guess we just put one of these on there even though we don't need to figure out how to do the end. Cool. I wish I could see it from the ground without having to jump. that you can at least control copy and control paste sign settings. I think that's what I did. I need to move these again. So right now, we have what we're not producing. Uh, and 
and then crystal oscillators and sand fluctuators. So we were also, yeah, these are manual. And this is crystal. Just do keep the one line. Uh, quartz crystal silica. What else is manual? Um, mod engines and computers. And anything else? Crystal oscillators, computers. Hmm. Oh, copper sheets. No, those are automated. That one kid, welcome in. Uh, we are working on Putting a little bit of a finishing touch on the storage here. I think I like the way it looks. It's missing something on the bottom. There's a lot of red. So I'd like to, I need to have something on the corners. I guess maybe like a red beam would be good to cover this up. And I just need one more beam, I guess, in here. Not as clean as I would like. Maybe that should only go up as high as the other beam. That's better. I don't think I want that to be dark. I just realized I need to encase that, too. Well. Okay. Problem for another time. See, so yeah, this whole factory, uh, that one kid, uh, makes a lot of the parts along here that we're building with on a regular basis in the game. So it's kind of taking that um, legwork out. We don't have to do that anymore. And I feel like we might want to have more of a manual storage here for this stuff. I'd have to move those around too. Future Joel will deal with it, right? So this just comes back to the ladder. So I just think I just nudge this into whatever position. So it's just kind of kitty corner there. Okay. Weird that it won't let me nudge it around. Looks about right to me.
Future Joel can look it up, that up on YouTube? Yeah. Just to the middle of that, and it goes up to that line there. Don't remember how many that is. Minus two. Eight. I'm glad I moved those in. That was a good decision. It feels a lot slicker. I quite like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Gate wall. And I've got no idea if and what we're going to do with the back of it yet, so we'll just leave that as it is. I feel like I need to do something with these. I feel like I'm going to be using this end more often. Um, but then this is just attaching to back here. That's a merger. That's a splitter. I could have that split overflow in two different directions. But it's the model neck down the bottom that's the issue. So I think this is actually a little bit back. Can't quite tell. That's about right. So the question is, how do we handle this part? A little bit of flickering. You really can't see much of it. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. This one I think is just going to have to be special. Maybe we go up two. I am completely spitballing this. I kind of like seeing the light. I don't know if I'd want to do that on this one too. I don't think it actually casts light. No, not as clean. I think that makes sense.
So I don't know why it's not letting me. I guess it's it's because it snapped to the wall and not the not the foundation. Yeah, interesting. Business in the front, party in the back. Doesn't quite cover it, does it? that affects anything back here. Does it do anything screwy back here? Nope. So it's that, or maybe coated concrete? For shame, making it up as you go along. It's almost like creativity, right? What kind of nonsense is that? So the only thing I think that's bugging me now is just that the, the signs being uh, red are not great. I don't think I want to do the blue a blue sign. Too much blue, maybe? I need to find something else. I'm also thinking maybe a bigger sign. What is that? That is one meter. Two meter take up the whole space. They do give us a little bit more of a format though. Oh no, I want the background to be red. And I want this to be dark. Or we could go with white. What do we think? <laughs> what do you think about pinks this cosmic? Shocked. I am shaken at the suggestion. I know this is higher. I'm doing it on purpose. What I was thinking would be cool. You can't really, without lumen, you can't really light them from below. One of the things you can do is you can put like a beam down and you can rotate it. Right? And then put lights like, like track lighting. I 
think I may have to light them up. I wish that there was an emission strength between one and zero. I could also change the white to be something a little bit less. Soft white here somewhere. I guess we have to do a comparison. Let's do that. All right, now that's this is probably going to be upside down for some strange reason. Nope. So the soft white versus the 100%. We'll just see if that makes a difference. I can just barely tell. I see that's a no. What if I turn them off? You can probably really tell the difference. more subtle uh, maybe not 85 is the way to go I also think they'd probably look better lower so just on this level go with that. This won't take long. Except I don't remember what was in here. Modular frames? Good guess. Gonna lurk for a while, Zero. Thanks very much. I don't know if I saw you come in. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day. I appreciate all the lurks. I know I don't um, often catch them in chat, but um, it really does help the channel. The extra views, you never know who's gonna come in. Um, if, if you're new in chat and you feel like saying hello, if you wouldn't mind letting me know how you found the stream, I'd love to know. find the redoing of things as you get better ideas a little tedious. I also feel with things like signs, we should be able to um, naturally just kind of scan them across in half meter clicking. I don't think you should have to hold control or freeze the hologram. 
I think that signs and power poles and some of the smaller things should tick in half meter increments. adds like four clicks that I don't want to do. Papa Scribes, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh-oh. That's not what I want. Getting too fast. Now, uh, these are still manual. This one. Um, we're actually not storing those in there. So let's just do concrete. Cool. And then along here, we know what those are. How are we doing for stuff? One, two, three, four, five. That's all of those. Pretty sure. Let's just stand by for you. That's 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 50, 500. I need to have more space in my inventory. Some of those I can put in here. I probably don't need the power shards in my inventory either. Nice. So that means that we are... I don't want to say one third of the way through with uh, phase three because, man, we um, those adaptive control units are going to be brutal. But we're done with the modular engines. So that's good. 
That is something I said I was going to do. I think the rest of them we can just put into the sink. Uh, Balston says, hey, I found you from Total, uh, a Total Raid. Oh, nice. Cool. Total Eclipse. Yeah, Total Eclipse is fantastic. If you do bang SF creators in chat, you'll get a link to a spreadsheet that'll link you to a bunch of other uh, satisfactory creators that I like. Uh, Total and Bits are and are uh, among them, as well as I'm Kibitz and a few others. Uh, Papa Scribe says, brand new. Just got to hear from recommended channels. I watch and play a lot of satisfactory. Well, thanks very much, Papa. That's great. I'm, I really appreciate you sticking around. And thanks for the follow. Sorry, I missed that. I'm a little slow sometimes for chat when I'm doing something repetitive like these these signs. They're very bright. I hope hope they stick with me. I don't think we need modular engines for much right now, so I'm okay with taking a few of those and sticking them in there. Check our tickets. I was hoping to do a little bit more with trains today. I think that's a total of six altogether. don't care about the industrial walkways so I could do the windows I don't see myself using them that much there are two the single window and the reinforced window that might come in handy with some transformer type builds uh, don't care about that probably the steel wall I'm trying to think about what might help us out with trains We're really getting down to the brass tacks here. So it's six for the steel windows or the wall material. I'm going to go windows. I feel like the steel wall is just so old school. I probably won't use it. Shopping is an essential human experience, enriching both the economy and human lives since the invention of society. Congratulations. You live in a society. Mm -hmm. We've actually heard that one before. So this no longer needs to do this thing. So we can change this to be... Adaptive control units. That's kind of rough. Maybe computers. High speed connectors. I'm not using much for high speed connectors. Crystal oscillators. I don't think I have very many high speed connectors. Yeah, let's do that. Cable, quick wire, and circuit ports. We still have a ton of those. Bring this down. Quick wire, cable, and circuit boards. Uh, 
Why does escape not work? The limit here is going to be circuit boards, of course. And let's just take about a hundred. Close enough. So circuit boards are going to be the ones that we refresh a lot. Require cable. Don't put them in there. Paused. Go. There is no escape, only efficiency. <laughs> Too funny. Thank you very much for the 200 bits, Cosmic. Uh, that GLaDOS is really, really good. They did a good job on that sticker. It's a good looking sticker, too. It's not obnoxious, you know? Like, it's not too wildly animated. How do we feel about the um, sticker um, length uh, and like the duration that they're on screen? Is it too long, too short? I guess it depends on how long the sentence is with the text-to-speech. Well, I was hoping to get more train stuff done today and we didn't even touch trains. One thing I did do is bring my blueprints over. I copy them over from the other save, so I'm curious to see if those worked. Just before we lose the light here, I'm going to put down the blueprint designer somewhere. Take a look. We can make the big blueprint designer, so that's cool. Oh, I guess I should put down the normal size one. Because I didn't build these in the other one. I gotta play around with the placement and do it myself rather than auto. That went slap bang in the middle of the screen. So the only time, the only two places I have that I think are not allowed are like the, the lower right hand corner and the dead middle should be blocked. But I might have done that for regular stickers and then not for other ones. I don't know. Um, let me just see if I actually have the blueprints in my. think so? Yeah. So here's one of the maglev train things and then the top of it this needs this blueprint screen needs to be a single hockey. It needs to be like a B. And then this is the top. So this is what I was doing for the tops of my trains. So I'll give you an example. What we would do is basically figure out your train height. Let's just do a quick one. Midsection lights tower. Right, so this is just a chunk, right? So say you're taking a train that way, right? So I'll do that. And if I switch on blueprint snapping, right? I can do that part. And then I could also do like a section with lights on it right pre-programmed lights I got the the lights from the the belts that are in there and then it has a top that should snap so it builds all that for you and then what I would delete would be these parts. And those are just to be able to connect the other pieces. Because up here, what's actually happening 
it's like a sign that's meant to look like it's hovering the tracks like a maglev or a hover pad i'm not in love with it i think i might want to have the lights face the other way because from down here it doesn't look like it's doing anything it's only when you're on the train that it does something so what i think i might do is add this to the blueprint designer and then have some signs at the bottom facing down that look like they're kind of doing it although i guess that defeats the purpose of actually having this tower so maybe what we do is just like a sky train where it's just the top part just that part but it's um it's floating so like we would delete this part and then delete these bits and then somehow get a sign on that it's not gonna work i have to do like a beam i think And try to make it look like it's floating we would have to do some design to make it look like some sort of exhaust but i feel like that could be kind of fun we'd still want to use the towers and stuff to get the right height but like then you can just remove it and have something very simple there i would probably remove this this diagonal part and have them be a little bit more flat Although it would be kind of cool to have those kind of pointed out at an angle to make it look like it's maybe not only keeping it vertical, but also kind of keeping it from going left or right. That would be kind of fun too. I just don't know if I want to keep the top sign as well, just because those are five crystal oscillators. Like they're not cheap. And the other thing I want to do is make some curves in Blueprint Designer. And I, I learned this from Total Eclipse, where you can take your, your foundations and then you can kind of clip them to the corners. It'll be hard without the sun here in a minute. So you can get it there, rotate it, and then place one underneath it. And then you can do four that way. Control one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. I was off by one. really uh 
it looks like it's on. Is it am I not getting the corner? Oh, that's why. I was not I was not where I should be. That's what it was. Wasn't in the exact corner. That's where I need to be. Four. One, two, three, four. There we go. So that's a five degree turn. And then you just repeat that process. Get it so it's in the corner there. And this will be a lot cooler in a um, five by five because then we can um, really get a larger curve going, save some time. Right? So then you can do that. And then once they're in the world, you can run your train tracks um, from point to point. And they'll do nice big curves. I think that'll be cooler. I think the trains making curves rather than right angles will be a lot nicer. So. Oh, look at that. It's nighttime. Wait, it's nighttime. Run away. Run away. Or take a break. You do you. <laughs> These are so good, Cosmic. That's amazing. Thanks again for the 200 bits and the stream sticker. Uh, and the break reminder. I'm actually going to wrap things up. I'm going to uh, call it a day. It is Friday, and uh, I've got plans. So we're going to send you on to somebody else playing Satisfactory. So if there's a raid suggestion that you would like to make in chat, I'd be happy to hear it. Especially if you're new. Uh, if you know somebody that you'd like me to send people on to, I, I don't mind sending everyone on to a new... Uh, a new-to-us streamer. Um, but also... Favorites are, are welcome. So we managed to get a decent amount done in here. Uh, we have also completed part of phase three. That was a big chunk. We had to go get the uh, hard drives. We had to go get the rubber. That was the first hour of stream, really. Uh, and then this kind of detail work does take a little while. I'm not crazy about the way that the top has reconciled. Like I feel like I need to do a little bit more there, um, but I'm not exactly sure what could be done. I think it may be some beams or something needs to happen in that space um, maybe this whole thing on the top oh, I keep on pressing the wrong button maybe this thing just needs to be pulled forward a little bit to rest on top of those beams you know uh, and that would take care of of this weird corner sort of I don't know I don't really want to put a beam connector on there House of Meza and Wo Jess are live. I will also check to see who's live. Uh, you can also go and listen to the Imp and Skiz podcast if you want uh, more of what you've been listening to. Because that's available now. Let me just see here. We've got... On my usual list... Wojess and a lot of other people are playing Minecraft as well. Uh, let's raid uh, House of Meza. We have not raided Meza in a little while. I think you will enjoy your time with Meza. Uh, thanks for spending your afternoon with me. I really appreciate it. This VOD will be up on the Joel Duggan VODs YouTube channel uh, tomorrow morning, usually. Uh, so check it out there if you want to watch it again, or it'll obviously be here on Twitch as well, but I get uh, ad revenue on YouTube. Uh, so if you're watching this later and you want to help me out, then check it out on YouTube. Uh, thanks very much for all of the sticker support, the bits. They're a lot of fun. I'm really glad that they're working out for folks. 
Uh, you can also do things like sub or use a prime sub. And again, thanks to the people that followed and subbed today. Uh, always great to see new people coming in and saying hi. I know that there's a lot of people that lurk, especially for this game. Uh, so I really appreciate you, you saying hi and tell me how you found the stream. Very, very cool. Uh, you can follow me at Joel Duggan on social media. Very easy to find. Listen to the Spawn Chunks podcasts or the Sizzle Cafe podcasts. They're free wherever you get your podcasts. And uh, don't forget to check out Patreon. It's one of the best ways to support your favorite creators. I'm at patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's only $2 a month. You get access to the Discord and you help me continue to stream on a regular basis. I really, really appreciate it. Y'all are awesome. Cosmic, thanks ever much, so much for the moderating and the help today. Uh, and again, thanks for the stream stickers. Uh, Charlie Pratt, hi. Also, bye, because I'm wrapping things up. Uh, good to see you. Uh, and we will see everyone tomorrow. One o'clock Atlantic is the plan. And that's going to be Minecraft, at least to start. So I'll see you then. Bye for now.